Princesa Ramos Hernandez from Mexico would like to know um, what's the effect you use in difficult to cure to create the pitch shift? Okay, that's just an octave divider. Um, uh, it's just an octave down, if I remember correctly. I use that sometimes on stage, most of the time with my synthesizer. I really don't use it very much. Uh, on stage, I use it more at home for certain effects, like strings. But on stage, I use it just for that number to give me an octave down. Rick Bradley from Canada um, wants to know what your plans are for playing in the future. My plans for playing in the future. How long do you plan on playing? Uh, hopefully as long as I can play. Rick, you asked a question about the new album being released in Canada. I believe you have the name of our United States distributor and North American distributor, and that's um, Len Fico of Fuel Beacon Records. And I believe you'll find his number on the internet. Feel free to contact him if you cannot get a copy of Stranger in Us All. Vincent Evans of Canada uh, has some, a lot of very wonderful comments. I don't know if I can this. Canada's a great place. I love playing Canada, especially Montreal and Toronto. Not forgetting Calgary and Vancouver. Well, he's got a question for you. Um, do you remember Triple Canary with a penis rising as your response to a question regarding your astrology? from an interviewer on CHOM FM in Montreal. Well, I heard about this, but I think that was Ian Pace at the time. <laughs> but it's funny. Bill Alexander from Newport, Vermont. Any possibility of recording again in Stowe, Vermont, and what were your opinion of your stays in Vermont? We had a great time in Stowe. Richard Hughes's English pub was a fantastic uh, retreat for us. Um, and we recorded the two LPs at the Horizons, which is now, I think, uh, owned by private residents. Um, so we probably won't be going back to Stowe, but we had a very good time there. And I don't ski. Robert Shanks from San Diego, California, would like you to come to California, and we also have Costas who would like you to play in Greece, and again, I think. They're going to need to contact the booking yes. agents in the areas. And I know it's something that Richard would love to do. I had a great time in Greece when I played there with Deep Purple. I think it was about seven years ago. And a uh, very interesting place. My, my cousin was Greek. And her name was... Um, Um, I'll get back to that. No. Um, it was began with M. It's a strange name. My cousin's name in Greece was Marika. It's come back to me. Marika, wonderful woman. Unfortunately, passed away about three years ago. Ilya from um, Canberra, Australia. What inspired the eyes of the world? Best piece of modern music written and performed. Um, what inspired that was the Mars Suite by Gustav Holtz. Phil Keegan from California. I dig the way you use the wah pedal so prominently on Stranger in a Soul. What was your motivation for including the wah pedal on Hall of the Mountain King and Hunting Humans? I don't think I used it on Hall of the Mountain King or Hunting Humans, but I used it on um, another track. I like the wow wow sometimes. Mind you, it can uh, cover up for some... It's very forgiving, and you can play a lot of nonsense and it sounds good. Tim of Mobile, Alabama would like to know why it took so long to release Stranger in us all in the United States, but I think Richard already answered uh, that. BMG Heinz Hem. Bill Bonzo White from Virginia mm -hmm. asked the following questions. 
I recall reading an interview you did a long time ago for Guitar Magazine where it was implied that Jimmy Page came in and did some studio work and some early Deep Purple recordings. Absolutely Is this not. true? No, not at all. Colin Mathur from Australia. My question to you concerns the often quoted release of the definitive Blackmore Blues album. Is this project on? Yes, but it won't be done for a few years. Yeah. Well, in fact, it might be done next year. I have to find the right singer for that blues project. <laughs> 